What's up? Now y'all know I'm always bringing y'all a little new. Hey, hold up, Vanna Black, because when I move this box, that you know the lens in my improv old camera might come up. But anyway, y'all know I'm always finding something new. Y'all know that's what I do. I don't promote the big boys. I don't promote. I don't talk bad about the they brands either. I just hey man, y'all do what y'all do, and I know what I know, and we'll go from there. Bill Boss for everybody, cause hey, there is no perfect subwoofer. I love all subwoofers, but I want to bring this point to mind. Thank you, Vanna Black, for the cue cards off the camera lens. <laughs> and the cue card says something I want to bring to effect. Right now, we have a lot of companies that are imitating the full bridge audio, full, the full bridge technology in the amplifiers. And we all know that is Brazilian technology or South American technology. That's where it's predominantly used. And I myself haven't been a proponent of it. This is true. But be that as it may, everyone is using them and some people are having very good success with them. And that is a Brazilian slash or maybe South American uh, uh, product. Well, I'm going to hear the taco of misconception that a lot of people say about Brazil. the amps are good, the subwoofers are terrible. I don't believe that. I have been working extensively with this company right here. Emails, texts, I got a contact here who is now here in Atlanta. But uh, this company is South American, very big in Colombia, Bogota, and you know, the, Lat the Latino reggaeton, you know, that loud, loud. And the same, this company, Donica Tech is in the same category as PRV, uh, Tar Amps, uh, uh, some with a D, the Zinka, even hey, DB Drive is big in the Latino market, not so in the American market. Well, these guys want some of this American money. And they have proven to me <laughs> that, hey, we got what it takes. Not only are they copying our amplifier technology, AK Sundown, SFB. They're also conquering our subwoofer technology. Would you, and I'm just speaking like I'm speaking for them, would you introduce us to America? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 see, I see what you got. Let me, first of all, before I do it though, how do I know you're a reputable company? Well, in our high end lines, because this is the entry level that I got first. All right, and because I pay for it out of my own money, Ain't nobody paying me to say nothing. This was not freely given to me. It's been talking back and forth. And if this meets the criteria that I think it can by the specs and the parameters they gave me, maybe in the future we revisit that another kind of way. Maybe it'll be a very serious connection. But right now, the paperwork is matching enough to make me say, hey, let me get two of them. Let me spend my money and get two of them and see what it do. And if I really like it, then y'all better buy it from me. If I really like it, because it's gonna be coming from uh, Colombia, Bo Bogota, whatever that means. Maybe that's, a, I gotta see if that's a country. I know Colombia's a country. Uh, you can get this somewhere for me. So, I purchased two of the entry level. And they're big, Google them. They're very, very big in South America and Europe. And they want some of this American money. And uh, specs came up. Specs look good. Because the specs look good, let me buy these jokers, see what's up. Very recently came to America. Grew very, very fast. Oh, thank, you. thank you very, very much. Ooh, I like them types too. Oh, I like them types. I bought them types. You can speak on the camera. They know you better. Please speak, because then they'll think I'm fucking crazy, because I ain't talking. Yes, you bought the type. Yeah, I bought the type. Woo! That boy's giving away doing Hey, so it's double box. Box, right? Y'all know I like to have one. So we're going to take this box out. Mm -hmm. So it did come double box, y'all. Make sure I hit the table too hard. Baby, can you? You might come over here. Come on. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, y'all hear that? 
You see that 15 right there? Did you see that? Yeah, I missed that, didn't you? <laughs> anyway. Oh. Uh, so. Mm. When you open it up, you immediately greet it by what I wanted to see. The T parameter. So we have a woofer here that is 600 watts on this. The resonant frequency of this entry level 12 is 33 hertz. Frequency response 20 to 120. Two and a half inch voice call on entry level 12. Mm. Sensitivity of 86. 120 ounce magnet. I'm told it's Stroden ferrite magnet, which is very, 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 we know it's a very, very strong magnet. It's used by people like, uh, hell, Massive uses it. Toronto uses it. Very, very strong motor. Stamp stiff basket. Besides the FFs of 33, it's got a, this, that's got a nice vascularity. It's hard to measure anyway. The QES, which is the number that they give toward the mechanical and the electrical dampening of the subwoofer, the ability of the subwoofer to be controlled, is 0.55. With well, the FS of 33, let's see what the EBP is. Let's see. Doom, doom. Baby, 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 baby. 33 hertz divided by 0.55. 60 suited for sealed or ported enclosures. X Max 13, mechanical of 35. Nice, way more than double the X Max, the linear X Max. Uh, when you go into the Max mechanical, that's when you're talking about the spider and the surround, bringing up the cold subwoofer as it moves very far outside the gap. It's not as concise in output as the Linear X Max, where you're gonna get majority output. That's what I tell y'all. You majority output coming from your X Max, but if you can have an X Mechanical that at least twice as and greater than your X Max, you can still have significantly clean output. Depending on how what dampener did they use? Good surround, good spiders, double space spiders, progressive spiders, linear spiders. How thick they is, how many you have, all that contributes to the X Mechanical. So, uh. The cone is 220 grams. That's pretty heavy for an entry level woofer. So which lets, which, even though it's pretty heavy for an entry level woofer, it bags up the low FS of 33. For those of us who know how to read the parameters, particularly when we work with that base Pro Box 6 all the time, I see certain things, certain numbers, I let me know a certain thing is gonna happen. And that's why I wouldn't purchase two of these subs, because I wanted to, I wanted to see before I put my, well, nah, I am putting my back in behind them, straight up. Cause I ain't gonna buy no loser. <laughs> I do buy something that I might not feel like performing average, but I love every subwoofer. But if I spend my money on it, that's cause I'm bringing it to y'all to say, hey man, this might do something and it fit my criteria. Number one, it's affordable. Even though I'm going off of all price ranges and they have these subs in different size and all price ranges as well. But mainly it's about the box. I can make anything sound good, pretty much. And I know what I'm gonna get out of this. Oh, wrapped in plastic like everything else. They didn't spend a lot of money on the packaging. So I can see why the cost is not gonna be that. I'm not gonna spend that much on them. Uh, I'm offering these for me, $154.99 shipped. $154.99 shipped for this Dynacotech audio subwoofer. I gave you the TS parameters. In fact, I'm gonna put the TS parameters at the end of this video up so you, in a still picture so you can see it for yourself. Vanna Black says she's gonna take care of that for Big Daddy. Okay, there we go. Mm. First, I must say, I am impressed about how much cone area you get. This is definitely a Brazilian sub. Because South American sub, you brother, a Colombian, why? South Americans believe in getting you a lot of cone area. A lot of cone area. That's predominantly what they believe in. And those of us in America who understand about output and basic movement by the moving of air back and forth would agree. Give me some cone. Then we'll worry about the dampeners. 
But let me give me a stiff rigid cone. This cone uh, is non-pressed paper cone. And we already know that all the saw part parts together is 220 grams. That's pretty heavy. But let's see what this cutout is. 298 millimeters. Ooh. What's we'll say millimeters inches? Come on, help me out here, uh, Siri. Millimeters inches. If I put it in 298 millimeters, I want to see what this cutout is. 298 millimeters. Whoa. 298 millimeters is 11.75. 11.75 is the cutout on this 12. What does that tell you, fellas? Yes, it is a stamp basket, which keeps your cost down. But this is not no stamp basket you're going to fit into uh, 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 your standard ported enclosure. Prefab. Most prefab cutouts, man, like 11 to 11 and a quarter, maybe 11.3. Uh, 11.73. So we write it 11.75 plus or minus 2 inches. Uh, the cutout is damn near the same thing the digital design uses on they ERM subwoofers. Screw it. If it's say 12 inches, it's going to have a 12 inch cutout. If it's 8 inches, it's going to have an 8 inch cutout. Well, this Brazilian, this, this South American company said we're going to do the same. We've been doing the same thing. That's why most Brazilian subs are very massive. This is the entry level 120 ounce stroke ferrite magnet. Uh, and I'm told, and they were, they were truthful with me on that. And I like that. The coils on the largest subwoofers that I'll bring later are American made. This is the only coil that is built to these specifications in China with this subwoofer. Uh, very nice. This is a stamp basket, but remember, it's not your average stamp basket. Stamp basket. 11 and 3 quarters is the cutout. Nice tinsel leads. Nice high roll progressive spider. Like, looks to be a single. I can't tell because I can't stick my hand in the stamp basket, so you just got venting right before it hits the top plate. The top plate looks to be mm, about three eighths of an inch. Nice bottom plate. See if I can do this without bouncing the camera. I gotta move real slow not to bounce the camera. Y'all see that? Y'all see that bottom plate? And it's bumped. Yeah, that's nice. It, it, it says 120 ounces. It's got a little girth to it. Uh, then it, not only is it in the back of the pole, it's been along the pole itself. So that's a lot of venting that you're getting for $154.99. Dual phone, it does tell you made in China. 600 watts RMS power. A sensitivity 86, 86. And I believe in it, brother. I believe in the whole lot. So much so that I purchased these and I'm gonna do them. I think I'm doing the first unboxing on YouTube with this subwoofer. Because from what I see, I think it's worth me getting behind them on my channel. Stay tuned, y'all know what's next. Maybe a little free air testing, or maybe we go straight to the box, man. I bought, there's two of them, so maybe we go straight to the box and see what it do. Uh, do you want to bring it a little bit closer to him, Vanna? Just, you know, just yeah, just take it off with them little pretty hands, yes, and just walk this way because the camera facing this way. Okay, just now bring your hand forward a little bit. All right, now bring your hand down, son. I'm gonna stand there. No, stay right there. Come down, just a little bit. Right there, right there, so they can get a good, good look at this boy. Yeah, stay right there. Mm-hmm. $59 and NB getting behind it. Everything had to start somewhere. Do you want to be the first? <laughs> what is that? What is beating like that? Oh, man. Winding height. Not just something I see. I'm looking at the winding height. Man, it's only 13 millimeters. Way more than 13 millimeters. But the F33. Uh, entry level, one fifty four ninety nine. Let me put it like this. Now let me see if Matt, so Matt, go, no, no, no. Go down, bring your hand down, right there by your hips. There you go, right there, steep it right there. Yeah, boy, I wonder if you can keep that steel like that if I walk behind you. 
introduce you to this snake. Don't hold the camera still now. Don't go left. Okay, that's it, y'all. Put me back on me, baby. Let me get out of here, y'all. Get at me. Down to tech. Audio. Get these from me for $154.99. Ship. New kids on the block say they're going to make some noise. EBE, MBE, brought them to you first, baby, because y'all know what I do. Peace.